What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Sava Tech once again, and today I have a little bit of a talking head video. We don't do these a lot, but I don't have a ton of time to get to all the content we have down the pipeline as far as editing and so on. And with the huge rise in the Bitcoin price over the past few days, as well as the huge rise in the Ethereum price today, I thought it would be a good time to discuss why this is happening. So let's go ahead and hop into the charts. So as you guys can see here over the past month, we've had, we've gone from 19,000 to 34,000 at the peak. And right now sitting around $32,000 for one Bitcoin, which is pretty crazy, but that's not really a, the whole story. It's not necessarily just that Bitcoin is rising in price. Now the dip today is actually due to uh, the altcoin season. Now, if you've been in crypto long enough, you know that this is pretty common. Essentially you have the rise of Bitcoin, then it goes down a little bit, and then the altcoins like Ethereum go up. As you can see here, there is a huge increase in price of 16% on Ethereum today. And there's a lot of reasons for this. Ethereum is the enabler to cryptocurrency because of the token system. And this is going to become more and more apparent and the, the value will go up on Ethereum due to the fact that while you have Bitcoin as kind of a savings mechanism, Ethereum is kind of the blockchain. Think of it as the blockchain that enables you to do things with cryptocurrency, right? Right? Anything from your coding to now, the most popular thing is going to be Uniswap, which is decentralized finance. The importance of this is that as opposed to previously where trading tokens and uh, other alternate coins would require a third party in the form of an exchange, Uniswap kind of eliminates that and adheres to the principles of crypto by removing the third party and creating a trustless system. So you're able to swap back and forth between peers without a third party by utilizing Uniswap. And I think that's why you'll see this go up further and further. Previously, Ethereum really went up because of ICOs or initial coin offerings, which got in a lot of trouble for false securities and for good reason for a lot of scams that were being built on the Ethereum network. But now that we've kind of gotten over that initial bump back in 2018, I think now we're looking at what Ethereum will actually be used for now from here on out. Now, as you can see, I do have a chart here for Uniswap and, and it is going up in value as well. This is pretty common though. And I think that the, the Uniswap is going to be the big player if they can get their fees under control, etc. It's already built into MetaMask and there is a how-to on this channel for you guys to go ahead and check out if you guys need to learn more about Uniswap check it out up in the top right corner. So why is this happening? A lot of people were thinking, of course, you know, cryptocurrency is increasing in value. And while that is true to a certain extent, the biggest reason is the American debt. We are at 27 trillion and counting, adding three, I think it was three to four trillion within uh, since March of 2020, so just a few months, and we've increased that U.S. debt. And that is basically decreasing the value of the dollar. So not only is the value of Bitcoin going up, but you also have a decrease in the value of the dollar, which makes it look like it's going up more than it actually is. You can see this if you look at even like the lumber prices, which a friend brought to my attention, Keith plays PC on Twitter. And at the beginning of the month, lumber was at 660 US dollars, and now lumber is at 872.60. This is also across most uh, products. And what I would ask you to do is go use an Amazon price checker. Uh, you can basically add items to like a wish list, and then go check on that item in like a couple days, and it'll show you the price change. Everything is going up in value due to the decrease in the value of the dollar, which is due to the increase in debt. Now, the biggest shocker is that China is no longer the greatest holder of debt or US debt. And if you go down here, you'll notice that Japan is now the largest holder in US debt. Not only that, but the debt is now 
a majority held by foreign players, so China, Japan, so on, outweighs the amount of debt hold, held by the federal government, which is pretty concerning and just another reason why you should be paying attention to what's happening with the US dollar over more what's happening with Bitcoin. So we go to the US dollar compared to the Euro within the past year. Uh, we have gone from almost about one to one to now about 80% of the value of the Euro, right? And this is a big deal because this means that essentially the US dollar is becoming more and more uh, hard to maintain its value just due to the amount of debt that we hold and well the shutdowns and all of that sort of thing I don't have any opinions on that I'm just kind of reading over uh, essentially why these things are happening if you take a look at the Bitcoin euro chart Bitcoin is currently trading for 26,960 euros while is trading for 32,000 US dollars. So quite a big difference there if you're paying attention. That 80% is, is a big deal. This will affect globally though, right? So we are gonna be seeing it affect all currencies. And the reason people are moving into Bitcoin is to protect themselves from the inflation of the fiat currencies. And this means that essentially don't get too excited with your crypto investments being worth more and more because the, the buying power is still relatively the same, right? So your buying power to buy a product, let's say lumber, is staying the same if you're in crypto, right? but it is decreasing of course or it's increasing if buying fiat and so you really need to pay attention to how much a product or a service costs you with in bitcoin or in ethereum right in these currencies and not so much how much fiat you can buy with the particular currencies so I hope this video was helpful or at least eye-opening in some form or fashion. I uh, am not a financial advisor. I am actually pretty uneducated in most of the markets and so on. But I thought it was worth bringing up this point that I noticed. And like I said, I think you want to focus on the buying power of fiat versus the buying power of cryptocurrency over the value of cryptocurrency in fiat. And this is going to be important as we move forward. Do some of the tests with the Amazon wish list. Keep track of how much each individual daily use products are going up in value. You know, things like your soap, your toilet paper, your, you know, the things you use daily, food. Um, and then start paying attention to how much your electricity costs go up here in the upcoming year because they're going to definitely go up. You're also going to want to pay attention to how much like all your utilities are going up, water, gas, and so on. And then you want to compare that to the buying power of fiat versus the buying power of cryptocurrency and then make your decisions based on that and not so much off of the value of the cryptocurrency versus fiat. And that's the only thing I would encourage you to do. And let me know what you find in the comment section below. Like I found the, the lumber, um, I see it with toilet paper, of course, and, and a few other things. Let me know down in the, in the comment section below what daily use products you've been noticing increase in cost recently. And I will see you next Tuesday.